Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and I've got a fun pumpkin spice treat for you today. I am using the Pick of the Patch uh, bundle, stamp set and coordinating punch. And inside is a hostess, let me show you the box, pumpkin, iced pumpkin cupcakes. Yummy, delicious. I found these at Target, seen them other places, and I'm sure you can find them in your area. I'll link them on Amazon just in case you can't. All right, let's do our watercoloring first. We're gonna watercolor to make these pumpkins, okay? And you're gonna need, uh, let's see, pumpkin pie and Cajun craze for your pumpkins. Now I'm gonna just take my block and I'm gonna ink it like this. And I've got two little palettes now of ink, right? So we can move those out of the way. You're gonna need a bowl of water and a water painter, or you could put the water inside your water painter. I'm just too lazy to do that, so I'm using a bowl of water today. All right, so take your water painter and you're going to get your inks some you want to mix up, some you want to keep light. And the more water you use, the lighter it's going to be. You want variation in your color. So use some water in some areas. Use lots of water in some areas. And then in some areas, don't use a lot of water. See the difference there? So we're going to, this is a piece of our watercolor paper. And I'm just going to kind of paint about half of it. Um, and then the other half we're going to do for our stem and our leaves. All right, so I'm just gonna pick up the color and kind of drop it so that we have, you know, just some splotchy kind of water coloring looks. All right, like that. I mean, there's no wrong or right here. We're just playing around. All right, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so now clean your water painter and I will set this aside and clean it later. And then now we're gonna open up uh, pecan pie and old olive. And I'm gonna do the same thing with a clear block. I'm just gonna pick up some ink on both ends of that block. And now we'll turn this and we're gonna do a little bit of, of pecan pie on one end. This is for our stems. All right, and just, you wanna, you know, you don't want it to be too uniform. Otherwise you could just punch it out of cardstock. We wanna really give it that watercolor look. All right, and now clean your brush and get that old olive and make some old olive um, splotchy watercolor for our leaves. There we go. All right, so now you're gonna need to let this sit and dry for a while. Um, I actually have one that I did earlier. So they're all gonna look different depending on how much water, how much ink you used. So let's bring mine over. Here we go. Now for the pumpkin part, I really wanted to add some extra um, color. So let me bring over, I have a piece of scrap paper here. I'm gonna flick some Cajun Craze on here like this. And I'm gonna flick some Copper Clay. Both are the darker color. All right. All right, so now you can punch out pumpkins. And I like to just have a choice, have some variety. So I'm just gonna kind of go down and punch out several, and then I'll pick my favorites. I know I really like that one. And since that one is lighter, why don't we use that and that dark one? And you can save the others for another project. Now we'll get two stems from our brown part, from our pecan pie part. There we go, let's do another one. This is, um, this punch has, it's punching other things. So, you know, watch what you're doing. If, you know, if you wanna save some of this paper, make sure that you 
look at where the other pieces are punching because you might lose pieces that you need. All right, and then we'll do two leaves. See over here, we lost a lot of our, our old olive part, but I think we've got enough right here to do another one. There we go. All right, so now I don't have my glue with me. It has up and disappeared, so we'll use our, whoops, our glue dots. And I'm gonna take my stems and put them on here like that. And then we'll take one of our leaves and have it pointing to the right. And one of our leaves well, I put the glue dot way too high. Let's try that again. And we'll put that to the left like that. All right, so now you've got some fun, interesting little pumpkins for our tags. And if you're gonna make a bunch of these boxes for treats, you will have, you'll be able to punch, you know, lots of them out of one piece of watercolor paper. Okay, so now let's make the round part. You know, I'm gonna get a new piece of grid paper. And I have a circle here. This is a stylish shape circle. And we are going to stamp, if I can find my copper clay ink pad right here. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. We're gonna stamp these leaves around the edge a few times, kind of spreading it out in copper clay. We're gonna emboss this also in our true tight embossing folder. But before we do that, before we bring our cut and emboss machine, let's do our sentiment. Now this sentiment is going to be cut with this tag die and I can't remember off the top of my head where that tag die is from, but I will have it on the supply list. So make sure you click the link and hop over to my blog. All right, I have a piece of copper clay and I'm gonna rub it with my embossing buddy to release any static that may be on there. And we'll, we'll stamp our thanks so much in Versamark. And then we're gonna sprinkle some white embossing powder. Let's get a little bit more up there at the top. There we go. And then we'll bring over our heat tool and hit it with the heat for about 10 or 15 seconds until you see it go shiny. All right, now it's ready to be cut out with our tag die. All right, let's do our die cutting first. I've got a little piece of post-it tape on here to hold it in place because it's very, it's a very tight fit. It just barely fits and we don't want it to slip. So we'll run that through. There we go, thanks so much. All right, now we're gonna take off these plates. You just need plate one. And we're gonna put this in our embossing folder like that. And run this through with plate four on top. And that has given us some texture on our embossing folder. I mean, on our circle. All right, so now bring your pieces over with your dimensionals and we'll add them like this. Aren't they so cute? All right, so now, little tag goes right there. And then I'm gonna take my linen thread and make a small bow like that. And get your glue dots. And stick that right there on your tag. I'm gonna trim that down just a bit like that. 
All right, now that our tag is made, let's make our box. You're going to need a piece of copper clay that measures 10 by five and three fourths. On the short side, let me move these out of the way so we can see what we're doing. On the short side, we're gonna score it at one and a half and four and a fourth. On the long side, we're gonna score it at one and a half, four and a fourth, five and three fourths, and eight and a half. All right, now grab your bone holder and burnish those lines. This new copper clay color is an in color, which means it will only be here for two years. And it is beautiful. It's a wonderful fall color. I really have enjoyed it. On the long side, we are going to snip the score line and the outside corner, okay, like that. Snip, and then on the middle one, we're gonna snip both corners. So one, and two. All right, so then here's the outside corner again. And snip. All right, we're gonna repeat the same thing on this side. Snip and cut off the outside corners. Snip, snip. Those corners. And last but not least, our last corner. There we go. All right, so now I don't have my glue here at the table. It has disappeared. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to use just what I have, my stamp and seal. I would not use stamp and seal regularly to put a box like this together. I would recommend liquid glue, which is what I prefer, tear and tape, or uh, stamp and seal plus. All right, so I have put adhesive on the outside of these four tabs, and I'm gonna fold them up into our box. All right, like that. Now we're gonna put adhesive on the outside of these two tabs, and we're gonna fold them into the sides of the lid. And there you go, there is your box. It's like a clam shell. It folds down onto itself. Well, we gotta get everything stuck in the right place. There we go. And it folds down onto itself like that. All right, let's put our cupcake in there and put our tag on the top and we'll be done. These would make great little fall favors if you have a fall fest you're going to or um, you just wanna treat your loved ones. This is a great little fall treat box. Um, this is a piece of our new gingham paper um, tartan gingham, I believe is what it's called. It's an online exclusive, so you won't see it in any of our catalogs. Um, I will have the item number and the price and the correct name listed on my supply sheet, so make sure you check it out. All right, and there we go. Fun fall themed box and look how different those pumpkins are so your pumpkins are going to look different every time you do them i even had some extras on my tray somewhere well they oh here they are and you can see the more water you use the more little you know um kind of this texture you'll get you can add big salt on it while it's wet to create texture flick it with different colors and you're going to have a beautiful pumpkin patch all right, everybody, thanks so much. Make sure you visit my blog for that free PDF and let me know if you have any questions. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.